Kassike. Bye Shaba. Kassike is back with his weekly crossout show. In today's video I want to have a deeper look at a weapon which I see seldom at the battlefield. AD12 Falcon. But before we go deeper, here I want to share my community tab. A few weeks before we had an upgrade event for weapons and I decided to continue my mission blue. Huh? Mission blue? That means nothing else that I'm working on perfect upgrades for each blue part of the game. Here you can see what I have done already with blue weapons. Therefore I want to know from which weapon you want to see the next video. You decide. For today I gave the AD-12 Falcon a try. The weapon can be crafted at the Nomad Faction workbench after you reach level 4 there. When you activate the weapon a mobile combat drone equipped with basic machine guns will get launched and directly attacking all targets on radius. What have I done in the upgrade event? I decided to upgrade 2x5 AD-12 Falcon because I am not sure which combination could be the best. Especially with such type of weapons depends everything on the build. Finally I choose the following two combinations. In the first version we have resistance to all damage, active time and activation speed increased. The second version affects the drone parameters himself. We have here a better durability and an increased drone damage and projectile range. That means that the first version is faster in every sense and the second one can shot on a longer distance with more power. I tried out a ton of builds between a power score from 4 to 6000 points, but most of them were unplayable. It's unfortunately often that I lose my wheels, all drones or except the cabin the whole car. Main reasons is the difficulty to build a reasonable vehicle and have enough power for all weapons. I wanted also to know if you could use them for successful playing and raids. I choose a low power score tower version with 4 drones and I could pass that raid with an acceptable score and value. Before we reach my main build I want to show you a hover build which surprised me because it was one of the better ones. This is a 6k falcon hover with 4 falcon drones and a chameleon. One big weakness of the falcon drones is that they aren't invisible when you are using the chameleon. That makes it difficult to attack from the background with activated drones and hide after an attack wave when you turn around with your vehicle. That's the reason why I wouldn't recommend using the chameleon. Falcon drones don't need a radar but a good one can be very helpful to be always good informed over the map. With the AD-12 Falcon you like to fight against long range players with cannons or something similar. Against shotguns or machine guns you are close to be useless if they can use their weapon. Do you have a good Falcon build idea? The comments are open. After a ton of builds I found one which doesn't get crashed with the first touch, had enough durability for protecting the drones and the vehicle himself. Here you can see how this one is built. I couldn't find the original creator anymore in the gallery. So I want to say thank you to unknown. Let's have a much closer look at this build. We are having here a very optimized 7000 power score setup with the following components. The call, cheetah, 4x omni, PU1 charge, Maxwell and 4x AD12 falcon. You can see that all the components are upgraded and most of the upgrades decreases the mass value. This isn't a beginner build. With a nearby perfect used mass and a durability of 2982 points you are competitive with blue weapons. And there we are inside the battle. So we have four bots here. That is not a bad uh, possibility for this kind of setup because many times you can fast and easy kill one or two bots or you can give them a lot of damage. Here we have Joshua and you see when I'm focused I'm able to get a huge amount of damage. <laughs> the other dude was missing me and Joshua is gone. So there we have Liza and gone too so we are 2-0 ahead. 
Uh, it's not my first run with this build. I had a little bit of practice and I was surprised how good this is running. I mean, we are here at 7k with two blue weapons, but you must also say that's a very optimized build. Robin, we steal and this looks very, very good for us. And uh, this match, the most positive advantage from my point of view com compared to all the other builds what I had are the Omni wheels. With Omni wheels, you are much more flexible in all your movements and also makes it more difficult for enemies to hit you and your drones and uh, that's a good team play here and that's a good point uh, this kind of build for me is another good team player build it's not easy to get mvp or a lot of points you are switching between 600 and 1000 okay here we have the mvp that's luckily the only disadvantage that I had with that build was that I couldn't use the drone co-driver. I wanted to get out the max damage value from my favorite vehicle. I made the test on the garage with my two different types of upgraded drones and the co-driver. First, I chose the original build without the drone co-driver. Then I changed the build a little bit to be able to drive with R-Type 52, the drone co-driver. I took away the most heavy part, train blow, and installed the Gessern instead. I think the car has still a very good durability with 2840 points. We can see it that R-Type 52, the drone code driver, doesn't affect the damage. And there is written, flying drones don't affect the charge. A Day 12 Falcon isn't a flying drone, because we are going to see a bit different results. A bug, a future, I don't know. What happens when we compare these setups? These three setups compared show us the second one is the fastest, but the difference doesn't feel for real. But with the third setup, we have an advantage. 161 points at the same time, that's something. And that's my choice. So then let's see how this build is working. This is the first try. So my advantage is now that I'm doing more damage at the same time, uh, but Okay, nothing else at the end. Uh, I lost a little bit of durability. For that I go a little bit down also in the power score, but okay, I think that's all not counting really. Here Joseph uh, gets smashed in teamwork. And um, the main um, driving skill that you need here is timing, I think. Um, from my point of view, you must always take care that uh, you are like in position with your drones. Uh, that you are not driving into the enemies when your drones are far away from being able to activate and also you are lost against a lot of types of vehicles machine guns shotguns and all that stuff uh, also auto cannons and uh, you should stay away from them if possible i mean you can disturb them to help to support your team members um, because with this durability people will take this your time before they smash you down and when the drones are active you, you do at least some damage but when you're on a one-to-one -one situation um, it will be very hard <coughs> so here I, I mean I'm part of the battle but uh, I'm not feeling I, I mean uh, this isn't, isn't a game changer build so uh, I'm trying here my best uh, but I'm not feeling really connected neither so we are two against four this is difficult i think and i have only one setup of drones so that means i must look if i can catch someone oh, there's a shotgun i think behind me uh maybe i can get this dude so the main problem is that i don't ah now i'm alone and i don't have another setup of drones anymore i mean everybody who's burning uh, will get killed but if this dude here is having something i don't know where's the other one um uh, one is behind me yeah, and there I'm out. Ah, this is the dude. Yeah, they are missing another set of drones, so <coughs> I don't see how I can win this. I can't cap. Uh, uh, there's one enemy more left. Maybe close to be dead somewhere on the ground, but okay. I think that makes no sense. I mean, I have a lot of life points left, but <coughs> okay, this wasn't a good team play. So I tried my best and I can kill myself here and going to the next battle. I hope this gets better. All right. 
Another team, another map. There are only two bots on each side. Um, I like when there are less bots. I mean, it makes in one sense a little bit easier, but on the other hand, uh, obviously, I like eight versus eight. It's not funny to play PvE when you want to play PvP. Okay, here's someone with Tempura, I think. Uh, but I believe he's too fast. Um, let's see. Maybe he, he's turning around here. Maybe, maybe you can catch him up. Uh, there he is again. Uh, okay, I don't want to get in touch in front of him, but uh, he activated his Tempura, so um, maybe I can make a little bit of damage. He's blocked himself. Uh, okay, but I, I missed. Um, uh, he's very fast. I mean, I can't follow him like this, so supporting here a little bit. Oh, I have to go away from that machine gun dude. Okay, he missed me. Mm, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's helpful here with the team so now now is that moment where i have to find a spot to hide myself um, i mean i i don't have chameleon and uh, i don't want to disturb my teammates and on the other hand i want to oh not in front that was not good and i uh, want to be prepared when uh, and ready when my drones are able to get activated so this is that timing moment or i hope i can disturb this hover here also, if I die, I mean, this would support the team a lot of, I think, because I, I see we have Hubba with uh, machine guns, if I see it right, so that's a good thing. Oh, maybe, I, yes, nice. That looks really good. Uh, I'm, I'm not, like, um, the big uh, part of um, my team here uh, in the way of damage and all that stuff, but I think I'm doing my job. So I'm making some damage, I'm disturbing and blocking the enemies, and, yeah, I'm not totally wasted so there are only two left that that's that's okay i mean also if i have only one drone left that should be fine for us um teammates looking good we have to no not no sorry you're not have to go to the other side so that that should be a win <coughs> and wasn't that difficult at the end i mean you have to watch the map you have to look to your teammates and try and to do what you can do with this kind of passive weapons in some sense and um, for that power score and that type of weapon was I think reasonable and points are it's okay it's fine so uh, nice let's give one one last match eight versus eight to see where I'm sitting here I'm sorry <laughs> I must pass here away uh, let's see how the team is developing um, because I, I shouldn't be the first who runs into the match if possible someone in the base mm, could be mines so um, have to be careful mm, that could be all, all the drones everything else so let's follow this Marcinis 477 here and uh, there are some people on the bridge maybe I can push him down and activate my drones there's I don't know what this type of... Oh, he's falling down? Is he falling in his head? Oh no Oh, I have to be careful. Yeah, it looks like wasp. Uh, oh, there are a lot of people. How oh, I can come away here? Oh, oh, this is not. This is not my spot. So okay, let's support this dude. Ah, he's waiting here in the corner for me. Okay, I mean, it looks really good. You see, my durability uh, helps me a lot. Of if if you ha don't have that much, I can jump here on the right side. I mean, this is four. I hope. My teammate comes out here, so sorry. Um, and the durability helps you a lot of uh, that your drones doesn't go away and that you are part of the game. I mean, the people can't know how long you're holding and all that kind of stuff. I mean, when you're driving more often, obviously they know what you are driving and uh, this is bad for me. He will always shut away my drones and I have only four, so... Ah, I'm feeling <coughs> not... In the right, oh, we are only two left against six. This can be hard. Maybe I can. I don't know what the, the, the bug sound had. Uh, maybe I can help him a little bit. Someone is capping. Okay, one is gone. Uh, he killed also one, two, two against four. <laughs> okay, that's still very hard. Yeah, I want to punch him. He shouldn't sh shoot my teammate. So that's great. We are two against three now. We have a small. Oh, okay, we killed four already. Uh, bug sound makes here a good job. And there are two. So maybe we can meet each other in the... I still have no idea what you have. Ah, here's again this dude with the 
was well, I should be careful I don't want to get in touch and I have only one um, one uh, bullet of uh, drones left and uh, can I can I take him away ah, yeah. that's not good uh, missed uh, th that's that's very difficult for me now maybe bad driving for me too I hope I can get his uh, cabin down making so much damage and <coughs> yeah, two against two. I mean, it would be great if you could win it. Okay, well, I, I think I die here. I mean, I have only one left, so I hope I did my job. Look at look at this. Look how much his cabin could manage. What he have? Oh my god, he has only Yaguai. Then uh, I don't know if, if I make enough damage. And <coughs> also, he is out of his stones so or close to be out of his stones. Um, let's see it. <coughs> so. One he has left. I mean, if this Mateusz is driving away somewhere, it's 1.40, one and a half minutes, um, would be a draw, I think. Uh, but, okay, if he follows him, maybe he can get him. Okay, the last one, let's let's hope that is enough. Still, he can take so much damage on his cabin. Oh my God, oh my God, I, I don't believe that this will be enough. If he comes now back to the, Oh, he makes a mistake. He comes back. Oh, that's nice. And we won. That's that's really nice finish. And uh, oh, I made the MVP. Okay, not so bad. <laughs> so <laughs> we served the team. So see you in the next time. Ciao.